let's take a look at some guidelines for delivering great customer service, delivering that unreal experience. Number one, good customer service begins with good scripts, following the scripts, answering questions and concerns they have, and ultimately telling them the truth. That's really all it is, following the script, being honest, and telling them the truth. Number two, good customer service requires continuous and regular communication. Customer service could almost be summed up as communication. Yes, there's other things that you need to do to deliver great customer service, but the number one thing you can offer someone is communication. Whether it's the listing process, the sales process, calling them every seven to 10 days should be what you do in terms of talking to your prospects. When their deal is under contract or their listing's been taken, we are constantly on the phone with the clients to ensure that great service and ensure that the communication that we're offering is exactly what they're looking for. Set aside a minimum of two to three hours a week to keep your clients informed. Pending transactions, market updates, price reductions, and so forth. Number three, agents have a habit, and I've seen this for years. Agents have a habit of over-promising and under-delivering what they actually do. Try doing the opposite. Don't make promises that you can't keep. And if you make a promise, you better make note of it, and you better keep it. Consumers are used to agents over-promising and under-delivering. Don't be like the rest. Always leave yourself an out. Don't oversell something. If you do, make sure you backtrack. Make sure you back up and put a disclaimer in there, a disclaimer in there, some protection, so they can't come back on you later and say, you promised us this and it didn't happen. Number four, clients tend to think that they're the only client you have at the time. Communicate regularly. It's very normal for a buyer or a seller to act like you are their only client. And they sometimes think you might be their only client, that they might be your only client. They're going to act like that. So since we know they're going to act that way, and since we know that's the level of service that they expect, make sure you communicate with them regularly in addition to what we do as a company. <clears throat> Crucial point here, number five. There is a direct correlation between the income we receive and the level of service we offer. To improve the income, improve the service. The higher the level of service, the more transactions we receive. The poorer level of service, the less deals you'll get, the less referrals you'll get. There's a direct correlation between the income we receive and the level of service that we provide. Next, encourage your clients to tell you what they like and didn't like about the transaction. It creates the opportunity for improvement and it shows them that you care. We love getting rave reviews. We love when they have good things to say about us. We're not happy when they have bad things to say. If they're telling us, they're probably telling their friends. If we ask for that information, it shows that we care and that we're willing to fix it. We're willing to do the right thing to make it right. Ask them for feedback, good and bad. Even when you go on a listing presentation, if you don't get the contract signed, ask them why not. They hired somebody else, ask them why they hired the other person. It's an easy script. If you don't mind me asking, we're always looking at improving our presentation skills. If you don't mind, why did you decide to hire someone else other than us? Oh, well, we felt more comfortable with them. Or they said that they could get us more money for our home. Fine, I want to know what the answers are. You'll never know the answer unless you ask. The golden rule, we've heard this one before, treat every person the same way you would like to be treated. Follow the golden rule, as basic as it sounds. Think of all the customer experiences and situations that you've been in. The good ones, the bad ones, the ugly ones. To provide the wow service, we have to treat everyone the way that we want to be treated. Next, remember that customer service is actually a method to grow your business. Think about that for a second. As much as we talk about prospecting and advertising and everything we do as a company to generate business, customer service actually is a method to grow your business. Now and in the future, it really is the residual income. The higher the level of service, the more referrals that we'll get. The more referrals that we get, the less prospecting we have to do. It is a method of building your business. The reason why most agents don't spend time working on it is because it's not immediate. I can call an expired listing right now and set an appointment and go out and present to them tonight and get a contract signed. 
If I deliver good service to a client right now, that might not happen tonight. But if you're going to be in this business for years and years, all of a sudden, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, you're getting all this repeat and referral business, all this business that you cannot handle because of the service that you provided over the years. There's no need to prospect anymore. You've got enough coming in because of the service that you've provided. Next, I have written down here, be sure to say thank you to your customers often. It emphasizes their value to you. Say thank you on the phone, say thank you in a handwritten card. After every presentation, thank you. Thank them for the opportunity to earn their business, even if you didn't get it yet. After the closing, thank you for the opportunity for allowing me to go to work for you. Thank you for your business at every point in contact you have. Thank you for the opportunity. Remember, customer service truly is a way of prospecting. It's a way of enhancing our business. It's a way of bringing new business to us. It's a way of building our business. Fortunately, you're in an organization where customer service is one of the pillars of our success. And all of our people and our systems are built around providing that high level of service. Will you have to do all of it? No, we'll do a lot of it for you. We'll take a lot of it off your plate. But understanding these points will help you continue to grow your business and help you continue to get raving reviews from your fans.